Hi everyone, Linda Rodriguez from PrepareBeforeDisaster.com. Uh, today's video is going to be about food, the quantities that you should have, and um, the food items that you might want to add to your emergency kit. Now first and foremost, um, you should plan on a three-day supply for yourself, for your family, for your pets. And then going forward after that, I would say um, to rotate it on a regular basis, whether it's every six months or once a year, uh, maybe when you buy the product, write on it with a permanent marker, what the date is so it's easier to find You know what the date is when you're going through it. I personally go through mine um, twice a year when I do uh, daylight savings time. It's just easy for me to remember and you know that's when I do my smoke alarms, that's when I do my fire extinguishers, that's when I go through all my emergency kits and rotate my food out so that I have fresh food that's going in. Um, so you know that might be an easy way for you as well to mark on your calendars. Um, as far as the food, I want to tell you that you should only put things in there that you like eating. Don't just go out and get things and go oh yeah this looks good, it, this can go in my kit. If you've never tried it, you don't know if you like it, don't buy it, you know, or buy it and try it first. And then if you like it, put it in your kit. Um, you know, you've been through, if you're using this kit, you've been through some kind of an event or a disaster or life altering possibly um, event. And, you know, the last thing you want to do is then have to eat terrible food that tastes like cardboard. Um, when you've gone through the trouble of packing a kit and having it for you. So try the food that you use first make sure that it's easy for you to um, prepare make sure that it's something that you like and um, any spices or things like that that you might need for it you'll you'll also want to have um, as far as preparing the food you want to have um, some kind of a mess kit something that has um, you know you can go to the camping stores and it has a bigger pot for something say like soup or if you were cooking for the family and you were making you know a, a larger quantity and then it has a smaller pot and then it has a like a mug inside also and uh, a lot of times you'll have the utensils in there as well so you'll have everything you need in that one mess kit and as far as cooking one of the things that I find the easiest um, is this little uh, stove it is um, about this size in the box and it's just about the size of two cards, uh, decks of cards. Uh, much lighter than two decks of cards though. It's really just very lightweight. And it comes with 24 of these um, fuel pellets, tablets. So you just light the tablet, you put it in the center, and this opens and closes according to what you want to have. If you just want to have a mug, then you would just open it like this so that the bottom of the mug is resting on top of here and you're warming whatever it is you have in your mug. If you have a full-size pot, you know, you're cooking a pot of soup or something like that, then you open it full, uh, full on, and you can put your pot on top of it. And the pellets store right inside. So it's really simple to put in your kit, lightweight, um, probably cost you $8.99, something like that. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, I would definitely recommend that. Um, I also recommend um, easy, ready-to-eat meals. You can go to a camping store and get MREs, which stands for Meals Ready to Eat. I will tell you they are not the tastiest thing that I've uh, ever tried, and they would not be my first recommendation for a kit. I would rather do something like this, which I got from the dollar store. It's in a foil pack. Um, it has all of the spices, everything you need. It's a... Uh, uh, prime filet chicken breast, uh, skinless, boneless, with southwestern seasoning. And this is already cooked inside here. All you have to do is heat and serve, and you can heat it and eat it right out of the same container. So this is a really nice container, nice and thin, lightweight, four ounces. Um, I recommend this. You can get, you know, fish, you can get um, different kinds of uh, uh, seasoned chickens and things like that dollar store so very inexpensive for you to start building your food supply in that kit and that's what we want we don't want you to be spending a fortune as far as protein bars and that type of thing uh, cliff bars are excellent they're very good tasting they're a high energy high protein bar they'll cost you about a dollar to a dollar fifty a piece but they're very good 
nothing to melt or you know get messy or anything like that my teenage daughter loves them so I guess that's a good sign that maybe the teenagers you know will eat them or the kids um, or you can get something like this which is you know the oats bar uh, in the foil packet individual usage so that once you open something you don't you know open it and expose everything um, to lose its shelf life so I like the individual packages and you can also tuck them in you know little spaces in your kit as far as um, freeze-dried products um, that's going to be more like um, your MREs your uh, you know camping type things or you can get dried fruits um, nuts, um, anything like that. that that'll that also work. Um, you'll want to have some gum, some hard candy around. Um, soups are a great thing. I'm doing a little show and tell here for you. Change it up a little bit. Um, the ramen noodle soup, again, inexpensive. You can usually get them for like four for 25. Uh, yeah, four for 25. That's expensive. Uh, four for a dollar. Um, different uh, flavors very easy you just throw them in your mess kit pan throw in some hot water and you've got some soup and the kids love these as far as um, drinking you know I don't want to go through anything without my coffee so um, I want to have coffee I want to have tea sorry I'm turning my head on you here so there's lots of different choices that are all really easy to put in your kit um, you can get instant coffee if you like instant coffee which I do not like but very simple and easy to put in. Um, these types of things actually in your tea bags, all of these can go right inside your mess kit because there's usually some space in there and I recommend using every space that's available. So if you have a mess kit or you have a container, don't let it be empty, fill it with something. So I fill my mess kit with my spices, my creamers, my salt, pepper, things like that. But um, back to the coffee, I don't care for instant coffee. I'll drink it if I have nothing else. But they have this new thing out that I love. I don't know who makes it. You'll have to look for it. But it's coffee singles, and it, it, it's just like a tea bag, only it's coffee. And it tastes just like coffee out of my Mr. Coffee machine. So I love this in a pinch. It's really simple, lightweight, easy to uh, you know store in your kit. Um, the other thing you could have is some tea, whether it's flavored tea or regular tea. Um, and then you can have something like this, which is called Emergency, which has um, electrolytes and minerals and things like that that are good for you, vitamins. Or you can get the little pouches like this that would be a Gatorade or Crystal Light or that type of thing for the kids or hot chocolate, I would recommend also. Um, peanut butter is another great thing. Uh, for the kids, they love it, but it's just good for you as far as, you know, giving you protein and that type of thing. You could get a whole jar like this, but you'll want to have the jar sealed. You won't want to have the jar in a, um, you know, you won't want to open it and put it in a separate container. You'll want to have it closed so that you intact, you have the uh, shelf life intact. Or you can buy these little single packets. Um, they're about half the size of those little, uh, um, pudding packets, you know, cups that you can get, and they have the little, you know, pull off top, but they're individual. So again, you use what you need, you keep the rest intact for the next time that you need it, and you've got your peanut butter for the kids. Um, dried cereals is another thing you can have for uh, yourself or the kids. You could have, um, get those uh, value packs that have like six or eight different flavors in it and they have the small boxes take them out of the box and just have the bag so that the bag can fit in a smaller place than the box can and you can have those for a snack or you can have them for you know a meal in the morning they may not want to eat them you know eat it for breakfast without the milk but you know what um it's better than not having anything at all another thing that's great is your beef jerkies and your um um Slim Jim sticks and things like that. As far as um, I had mentioned, um, having your spices and condiments and things like that. Um, one of the things that I do is when I'm in my, when I go to any kind of a fast food restaurant, whether it's Chinese or McDonald's or Burger King or wherever, um, if it's Chinese, whether I eat it or not with that meal, I always take the soy sauce, the duck sauce, the um, teriyaki sauce and I take that I mark on it with a magic marker 
what the date is, you know, an indelible ink pen, and put that in my kit. When I go to a fast food place, I get the little salt and pepper packets or, um, sorry, just kick that, salt and pepper packets or the creamers, the non-dairy creamer packets or the sugar, that goes in my kit as well. So I know that I have some spices and things like that to jazz up whatever it is that, that I'm eating, you know, or, or my non-dairy creamer for my coffee, which I'm not gonna have my coffee without my non-dairy creamer. Um, vitamins is another thing that you can um, take and probably want to take with you, but if you have that emergency uh, in the packet, that might give you all the vitamins that you need, so you're getting two things in one. Um, as far as, um, as foods that you're packing, I recommend, I don't have it with me, I recommend um, something like this, which is in a foil pack. It's much lighter in weight. You can cook it in here, you can eat it in here, as opposed to a can like this, which is gonna be heavier. You're gonna to need to carry a can opener because unless you have the kind that has the pull top, you need the can opener as well. Um, when you're thinking about packing your kit, you wanna make sure that you're, you're packing things that are gonna be filling and healthy and, and that you like to eat, but you also wanna consider the weight because you don't know if you have it in a backpack, you may be carrying it a long distance and you know, my pack is probably much different than what yours would be because of being involved on the disaster teams, but my backpack is about as light as I can get it for what I need for three days, and it's over 35 pounds. So that's not what I'm recommending for you, but I am recommending that you make sure that um, you're getting your food that's lightweight. And again, go to the dollar store. They have lots of choices, lots of things you can get. It's inexpensive. Um, don't want you to spend a fortune on this, but by all means, if you haven't had it, Try it first, see if you like it. Now, when you're packing foods, you also wanna make sure that you're remembering your pets because you wanna have food for your pets. Um, in my other video, which talks about water, um, I'm also reminding you that you need uh, water for your pets. Now, this particular video is on food that you'll want in your emergency kit. But if you go to my website, preparebeforedisaster.com, you will not only find a four-step plan for preparing for a disaster or an emergency, but you'll find that I've broken, I'm breaking the kit down into different segments. Uh, water is one of my videos, and that talks about quantities that you need for three days um, per person, how to store it, and how to purify it if you don't have clean water to drink, and, and resources that you can get water from that you might not have thought, have, thought of. So um, I recommend that you go on there, check it out. Uh, this video will be on there as well, and I will continue to add content, um, what other items you'll want in an emergency kit, whether it be for your home, whether it be for um, your uh, car, which I already have that on the website. Um, but don't just look at this for yourself. Don't just build a kit for yourself. Share it with your friends and your family, because I not only want you to be safe, but I want them to be safe. So please, anything that you see, send it on over to your friends, send it on over to your family. Any questions that you have, feel free to shoot them to me on the website. And I would love if you have, um, have built a, an emergency kit, whether it's for your car, your home, or what have you, um, be, as a result of these videos and this website, I would love for you to shoot me a picture and send it on over and if I have your permission I'll post it on my website. I, I would love to see the results of, of me trying to help you be more prepared. So until next time, um, be safe, be prepared, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.